So <clears throat> I thought today I would do a video again of my morning meeting. We've had a lot more success now. The first one that I posted, um, we had just started doing it. We've kind of got it streamlined. My kids do awesome with it now. Um, I do follow a little bit of a pattern. I normally have, um, you know, we introduce everybody. I play a couple songs at the very beginning. And then um, when I'm checking everybody off on my roll, and then after I get everybody checked off, we do a would you rather. We do like three would you rather questions. And then we do a um, little scavenger hunt. I give them about two minutes to find different things. And then I read a chapter out of our chapter book. It's pretty streamlined. It's pretty quick. And I have a lot of my kids who show up to it. I've been very fortunate. Um, my kids seem pretty excited about doing it, actually. And so I just, uh, I do that as like a way to get them all started. We talk about what we're going to do during that day, what's going to happen during our um, lesson. I might go over like what they need for their session that day. And then I let them go. And then we have our, you know, we start our groups um, after that. So I will bring you along today and let you see what actually happens during our morning message or morning meeting time now that we're a little more established with it. Started. And then if other people join us, we will just let them in um, whenever that we come. Let me make sure. I think that I have everybody checked off that's on here. I think so. Um, before we get started, I want to tell you this, and then I'll, tell, I'll say it again probably several times today and tomorrow. Next week is going to be a little bit different because we have to do our STAR test. So if you remember... Last year, probably at the beginning of the year, I'm not even sure if you took it in the in the middle of the year, but you had to take your star test like on your iPad. And so we're going to have to do that one at a time. And it takes about 20 to 30 minutes for each one of you to take your test. So that's going to be a long time that it's going to take to do that. And we have a math and a reading test to take. So what I'm going to do next week, probably starting Tuesday, is in our morning meeting, we're actually going to do our reading lesson on Tuesday. So I know that's different and that's weird and that's not what we normally do, but we're going to do that and then I'm going to Zoom with you one-on-one -on -one for that whole day. And hopefully, we'll be able to get it finished that day, and then I'll finish up on Wednesday. And then we'll do the same thing for math on Thursday. We'll do our whole math lesson in our morning meeting, and then I'll Zoom with you one-on-one um, -on -one to try to get your math done. And we'll see how that goes, and we'll keep our fingers crossed um, that we'll be able to do that and get it done in th those days that will finish everybody, okay? And what I might do is, um, if your parents have a device or a separate device, send them the Zoom link, and that way you can use your device to test and I can talk to you while you're testing. And I won't have to have you, you won't be able to see me if you go off the Zoom, okay? So we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll make it all work, whatever we need to do. Okay, I'm going to start recording, and I'm going to share my screen so we can do our Would You Rather and our scavenger hunt, because I know that is what you're waiting on. I like those. Let's see. I'm not sure who whose that is that has the background noise, but... It's, it's kind of loud. Okay, here's your would you rather, and you're going to thumb up or thumb down. 
Would you rather be able to control fire or be able to control water? Be able to control fire or be able to control water? Okay. I see a lot of both. I see some of you, it's almost half and half. Like half of you want to control fire, half of you want to control water. That's kind of cool. Okay, next. This one's kind of cool. I know which one I would pick, but you have to pick which one you want to pick. Would you rather have a silly hat appear in your closet every single day? So every morning you go to your closet and there's a new silly hat. Or would you rather have a new pair of shoes appear in your closet once a week? So the new hat you would get every day, the new shoes you would get once a week. So hat or shoes. Okay, I see a lot of you both ways. Some of you would rather have the hat. Some of you would rather have the shoes. You probably see this is only part of Miss Stevens' shoes. So you can guess. Which one Miss Stevens will pick? It would be the shoes. I love shoes. I can't help it. This one's a cool one too. So would you rather be able to remember everything you've ever seen or heard or be able to imitate any voice that you hear? So that one's a tough one for me. I'm not sure which one I'd rather do. Would you rather be able to remember everything you've ever seen or heard or be able to imitate any voice that you hear? Okay. Okay, here's our scavenger hunt today. I don't know what is going on. It keeps saying that my internet is unstable, which I don't know, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, it's not storming, is it? No. Okay. Here is your scavenger hunt for today. You are going to find something that makes noise and something that has hair. Something that makes noise and something that has hair. Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. So... Everybody needs to mute yourself unless you're the one that's sharing at that time. So we're going to start with Chloe. of our book today to you so we will finish our book wow it's been a long time since we started it it seems like chapter eight morning <laughs> her grandma was a dud because she wasn't a richie nana she ended up liking her grandma the best right because yeah. her grandma was perfect for her all right well i will see you when it's time for your zoom session we'll be doing math today so you'll need your math bag and your pen and you'll need your pit paper and something to write on because we'll be doing those rainbows again so your crayons and things like that okay Okay, I will see you then. Bye.